Hello, I'd like to talk to you about strategic planning, organizational execution, fulfillment of your business plan, integrating your staff. Obviously, you as a credit union leader understand what planning is and you have an approach to it that's probably been somewhat successful over the years, if not very successful. We do talk about it being the credit union way and as in all good planning, it has to be integrated. As you know, within our business, many of us are experts on the left side of the brain. We're good with math, we're good with numbers, we lead that way. And as we talk about integrated planning, we take caution to think about both sides of the brain, the left and the right side, so there can be both creation and focus. And as we link strategy and execution, as this visual model presents to you, we see four key components, which once again will not be news to you, but they do interconnect. And the fundamental one, as we all know, has to do with people, relationships, and culture. That's the driving force that leads your strategy into proper and effective execution as people are authors of it, and they are the ones who perform the action that fulfills the business objectives. Secondly, and very importantly within these days, in all days is our financial performance and risk management. This is to ensure that we keep driving those components that lead to capital formation aligned as they need to be, while we're also mindful of the necessity for risk management and within that risk management, having an understanding of our regulatory accountability and specifically how to get along with the regulator. They're not so bad. And finally, uh, within the, the more operational context, we need to focus on operational efficiency and organizational effectiveness. And this traditionally is the place where we bring our staff in at the, at the very baseline level to talk to them about and listen to them as they tell, tell us what works best, what needs improvement, and how this credit union can continue to thrive in the future. Finally, communications, growth, and brand, as you know, probably if you know a little bit about me, this is how I started in this business, but then I quickly moved into planning as we keep growing our businesses effectively, but once again, within realistic focus around geography, demographics, competition, and so forth. So in the AM, we got action management. In the PM, we got performance management. Maybe we'll stay up all night, all day, AM, PM. I've got a couple of tools on my website that I encourage you to look at as you see before you right now. One is a planning advisor that's interactive. One is the strategic action matrix that keeps this rolling towards execution. The basics of the execution are gonna make or break it as you know along with that people process. The basics of execution being understanding just a handful of linear objectives that will help you fulfill your plan, the tactics, the resources, the timeline, the measurement, those points of review and the change. So once again, as I wrapped up my last video, it's been said that we need to be financial institutions with a soul. Let's move it ahead by continuing to use all facets of our brain and the benefit of the people we have that we can work together. Thank you.